Yo, what's going on YouTube? GZTV back with another video and in this video we are going to be reacting and reviewing reacting to and reviewing the brand new Tyler the Creator album uh, deluxe edition of Call Me If You Get Lost. It's about seven new songs. So I was like, you know what? We're going to make a video about this and you know, let's let's see. I mean, ASAP Rocky's on here, Vince Staples, you got YG um, and Dogtooth and Sorry Not Sorry were singles, but Sorry Not Sorry wasn't officially released, so I kind of want to listen to it again, so let's just get into the tracks, man. Well, well, actually, you know what? I can talk a little longer. You guys see I have the Call Me If You Get Lost vinyl back there. I just recently picked that up. Very dope visuals in the music videos that he has dropped so far uh, with this uh, deluxe, and it's awesome that he has throwaways, given this is his year that he's supposed to drop another album which i think he's probably going to so it's going to be interesting let's see i think there's like seven new tracks so let's go the first track on the deluxe track 17 technically on the project is everything must go it's only 28 seconds so let's just get into it i probably won't talk much throughout the song i'll probably just tell you guys what i think at the end it's that same uh what's your name intro he had damn this music's loud I don't really like blasting music that much. I love, I mean, I love the segues into the tracks that he has, and he had throughout the Call Me If You Get Lost record. I think it was awesome, so. I don't really have much to say. That was kind of just like the instrumental, like the prelude to the deluxe edition. And yeah, I'm really excited for this one, so let's get into the next track. The next track is Stuntman, and I think it has just Vince Stables on it. I don't think there's any other features. There might be like Pharrell on here, I'm not sure. Let's let's go. Damn drama laughing maniacal as hell. There's like little whistles in the background. This is definitely a Vince Staples type of beat. Oof. Oh my god, this beat is ill. This is definitely some gangster girls type shit. He'll definitely show you how to stunt. Chess pieces. This video will probably be like ten minutes long, but hey, it's new Tyler, so I gotta get hyped. This, this part of the beat's crazy. I've never heard Tyler the Creator like this, I'm gonna be honest. This is crazy. He sounds crazy on this, I don't know, it's it's insane. Oh my god. Mm. That uh, Sir Baudelaire uh, flow right there, that was nice. Cool little touch there. Damn, that shit transition, I feel kind of bad, but... I have never heard a Tyler the Creator song like that, literally ever. Like... That was such a cool style, you know, when he was like vocalizing in like the bridge or whatever you want to call it. That was insane. I was a really big fan of that track. Hopefully he continues doing stuff like that, you know, experimenting. I cannot wait for the new Tyler the Creator album to drop later this year. So, yeah, without further ado, let's just move on. The third new track, track 19, is What A Day. So, let's get it. Ooh. You got like a sample? <laughs> Still talking about Lionel, the Odd Future Boys. Love it. Yes. We need more rapping Tyler the Creator. Like I don't mind Igor and uh, Flower Boy. They're both great albums. He is so good in the rap space and so underrated. What is this sample? Is that him? Okay. <laughs> There's barely a hook. It's just a sample, and he's just spitting the whole time. Love it. Is that like a car alarm in the background? What the fuck? It's crazy to see that he's working with YG on this album. Whoa. I wouldn't call him a poet, but I mean, he's got some solid lyrics. I love the alternate oh, um, album art for the... Uh, oh, shit. I just want to say this. I really like the alternate art for the vinyl. That was an interesting song. Um... It didn't really remind me any of anything. Um, I can't. There were definitely a couple of cuts off of Call Me If You Get Lost that were kind of like this, and you might have recorded it in the same session, might have got some inspiration, but overall, I mean, the first two actual songs, I mean, obviously everything must go, is just an intro, but those, those last two tracks are very interesting for Tyler, the creator, so can't wait for the next song. Let's keep going. We are chugging along in this thing. Track 20 is Wharf Talk. What the hell is a wharf? We have ASAP Rocky on this one. All right, let, let's spin it. Hmm. 
We got some singing on here. Shout out to Yachty. Kind of sounds like something. Kind of sounds like something that could be on Igor and Flower Boy if they had like a hybrid project. So he's kind of going back to his older or old style, like the last three, four years. A lot of dope instruments going on in the background. I'm very interested to see what ASAP Rocky is about to do with this. Here comes Flacco. Okay, he's rapping on this shit. I like it. Ooh. Machine gun drums. This isn't the best collab between these two, I will say. I can understand why this one was a throwaway. Who the hell is that at the end of the track? Ooh, I like this. I like that. Okay, um, I feel like we're getting a little bit of like a teaser as to what his new project's going to sound like. I don't think it's going to sound like that song, but I think like the vocal effects at the end, I feel like he might have like that Ponderosa Twins, Michael Jackson, like Jackson 5 type of sound on this next album. That's what I'm predicting, I feel like. I don't know, that was kind of random that I brought that up, but like, maybe, I don't know. That song wasn't great. I wasn't a huge fan of it. I mean, it, that's why it was a throwaway. These are throwaways, which the two singles that were on the th this throwaway album were fantastic. Those were great. And so far, you know, Stuntman and What A Day were pretty solid. So on that note, let's move on. We've got three more tracks. Let's go. Coming up here, we have track number 22, Heaven To Me. Let's go. Nice sample. We're gonna need to know what these samples are, man. Ooh. This is like a Kanye West uh, soul chop. What's this crazy? What is this guitar in the background? It's beautiful. This is beautiful. A lot of Kanye West inspiration, like 2003 to like 2006 Kanye. Is he having visions of having kids? Because I don't think he actually has kids. And he's referenced kids a couple of times on this throwaway album so far. Man, I hate calling it a throwaway. Let's just call it a deluxe, you know what I mean? Ah, the guitar. The song's beautiful, honestly. Boy, you is not 40 yet. Chill out. Ugh. This song is like, it's such a good vibe, you know what I mean? <laughs> Man, if there's not enough strong albums out there, I might consider, or strong albums that come out this year. I might consider putting this in uh, my top 50 under the year list, but that was a great song. That's probably one of my favorite tracks on this, on this uh, deluxe. Probably not the original project, but this is really dope. I love the sample. Um, I love the vibe of the track. It's like sentimental, like what's heaven to him, what he likes, like kind of reminiscing on his old life, and you can kind of tell that with like the with like the vibe of the beat um i think it's a really good song i need more song i need more songs like that out of tyler but yeah that's really all i have to say i think we can move on to the final two tracks the next track track 23 is boyfriend girlfriend with yg on it this is insane i can't wait to see what yg does this is actually a 2020 demo it says on the project so it was Probably recorded shortly after uh, Igor release, so that's interesting. Let's hear what he's got. Oh shit, we're gonna have a West Coast banger here. Oof. This could be on Flower Boy, honestly. <laughs> His voice sounds very interesting here, but I like the experimentation. Oh, Kanye West had writing credits on uh, What a Day, I think, or Heaven to Me. That's crazy. I've just been kind of looking at Twitter to see what people say. A lot of people like Wharf Talk, so I might have to go re-listen to that. I didn't feel it at first. I'm vibing. Ooh, I like the switch up here. Wait, YG was only in the beginning? I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like they could have at least given him a little more of a part. It's a pretty catchy song. The, the instrumentation is unique and so different on it. Those are the same word, pretty much, on every song, though. Man, that was a vibe. I don't think it was an amazing track by any means. That was a vibey track. That was pretty good, honestly. So without further ado, I just want to get into the final song. It, it's a song I've already heard through a music video, but I want to re-listen to it again because it's fucking amazing. And I'm just going to let you guys know how good it is. But uh, YG being on that track, that's a cool little touch, obviously. It was like he's like the young boy of this album. Um... 
Yeah, it's pretty dope. Vince Staples is kind of like the Uzi on this track. And then you have ASAP kind of being like the Lil Wayne type slash Damo Genesis on this. So, yeah, maybe even a little bit of like a Brent Baez type of artist on this album. Let's move on. The next and final track is track 24. We have Sorry Not Sorry. It came with a music video. It dropped like a day or two ago, and it is incredible. I'm just going to re-listen to it because it's officially on the album, so let's go. I might not talk that much. I might sing a little bit. I don't know. I can't whistle that while my lips are kind of dry right now. This is probably one of his best songs ever. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, Autumn dropped an album. I'll probably listen to that uh, this weekend. So, yeah. Good man. He's a straight edge. Love this part. Watch I'm Dante's reaction to this track. We can say he raises some very interesting points and breaks down this track perfectly. So, if you want some good analysis, go watch his reaction to this song. Love his flows on here. It's fucking fire. Mmm. This is my favorite part of the song right here. I'm getting my guns ready. Whoa, I'm not shooting up at school or anything. You'll see what I'm talking about. Hey, let's fucking go. Do you hear this fucking outro? This is incredible. Yeah, we do. We are gone. Yes, sir. We needed that. Holy crap, man. That song is incredible. It, it Like, already, it might be one of my favorite Tyler the Creator songs ever. That song is amazing. The end of the track where he's like, buh, 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 like, where he's like going crazy. I love the rapid fire flow. I think it's amazing. Works very well. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Let's get to the outro, shall we? So I'm just kind of going off the dome here. We have the outro here for Tyler, the Creator's brand new deluxe album, Call Me If You Get Lost. Um, what's it called? Estate Sale. Which, this was super unexpected. I mean, I did not expect Tyler to come out with this. And going into this week, no one even had a damn clue that he was doing something like this. Maybe. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember when the news first came up, but like... Before Dogtooth came out, no one had a damn clue that this man was dropping a deluxe album. And it's been so long since he has dropped a deluxe album. He dropped a couple, you know, bonus tracks here and there. But if you look through his track run and stuff, he hasn't dropped a deluxe probably since, like, Goblin. Pro yeah, Goblin. Literally, Goblin is, like, besides this album, Goblin's, like, the only album in his discography where he has a deluxe edition. So it's very interesting here. And maybe he doesn't, he doesn't even want to consider this a deluxe album because, again, like I said, you know, he was tweeting out this was like throwaways and stuff like that. And some of the songs I'm listening to, and like, are you really that fucking legendary that some of these tracks are throwaways? Sorry, not sorry, didn't make the album. Dog Tooth, Tooth didn't make the album. Um, Stuntman didn't make the album. Heaven to Me didn't make the album with Kanye West writing credits. And I mean, at the time, Kanye West was prospering as an artist. You know, he 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 had the Don to roll out and everything. And you're telling me that didn't make the album? He's insane. Maybe it should have made the album. Obviously, for like the length of the album reasons, he probably didn't include a lot of the. He didn't include any of them on the album, of course. But I think people would have loved to see ASAP Rocky be on the original album. But it's so dope to see that these two work together on a track in the Call Me If You Get Lost era. And let's hope that with ASAP Rocky's album possibly coming out this year, I think it is coming out this year, and with Tyler the Creator supposed to, like based on his every other year schedule, he's supposed to come out with an album this year. I think we're going to see maybe two or three tracks with Tyler and ASAP Rocky. That's just a prediction. Maybe that's a shot in the dark. I'm not really sure here, but here coming up, I might be streaming. I'm not quite sure yet. I don't think we're going to be doing a recap video. The games weren't very good tonight, but... Yeah, the production sounded different on damn near every song here. We love that. The amount of versatility, the amount of creativity, the amount of <clears throat> unorthodox tracks here from Tyler the Creator is great. I definitely recommend this. I know you don't get to listen to a lot of the album when I do these videos, but man, you guys have got to check this out. This should be out probably Friday night. It shouldn't take me that long to edit this video. It's only like probably going to be like a half hour of uh, clips, so... Yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe. As always, it is GZTV covering your favorite music. Coming up on Sunday, we are going to be uh, taking a look at all the music that dropped this weekend that wasn't this, because obviously when I record an album uh, review, I'm not going to include that in my weekly track roundup. So tune into that on Sunday if you're a music fan. Uh, but I'm out, guys. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.